So this is the molecular gastronomy drink that the girl introduced here and this is the most viral drink that was ever introduced in Pakistan. And for you guys, this may look very tempting and it's very hot outside and you all must be thirsty and want to make a video of it and want to try it as well. Let me try it for you all. is a viral drink and it is very popular and it makes you come to the restaurant and try it and make money for us but for a restaurant this is a product that makes money that brings you in the restaurant and you market it for us so it's a marketing strategy that works for a restaurant and there was a big gap of such products in Pakistan and there is a huge gap of similar products all over the world you just have to find that. So today's topic is how to build a restaurant and how to survive the crisis. Making a restaurant is very easy. Someone said it and it's completely wrong. Making a restaurant is not easy. As someone also said, proof is in the pudding. So let's talk about pudding. To make a great pudding, you need good ingredients and a technique. And the best ingredient for any business and especially restaurant is passion. That is one of the most important ingredients for restaurant industry. There was a guy who had, who had a thriving business in his field. He was in real estate, he was working very hard, making good money. But he wasn't enjoying that. His mind and his heart was always thinking about food. And because food connects everyone. So he was always thinking about food, about uh, making new ideas, about experimenting, about uh, working towards improving the dishes, uh, improving the, the cuisine, about molecular gastronomy and stuff, etc. So he was bored of his work. So one day he decided to leave his work and come back to his country and open up a restaurant and work towards the experimental part and create fusion. That guy is standing in front of you. I will talk about how to open up a restaurant because it looks very glamorous and a lot of people who think that restaurant is buzzing and busy all the time, it must be very easy. It is easy for the people who are passionate about it because they will enjoy working towards food, they will enjoy making a restaurant, they will enjoy making a cuisine and they will like it. For the people who don't, it will be very hard for them, it's not easy for them. So let's, so let's talk about how many type of people who want to open up a restaurant. So there are a few particular types who want to open up restaurants. One, people who want recognition. So if you invest billions in restaurant, you get a recognition of billions. So people who have a lot of money, they want recognition, they don't care about profit and losses, they open up restaurants, which majorly close down very early. There's a second type who want to make profit in restaurant industry. They survive 50-50 because they are businessmen, they know how to cut losses and where to cut losses. But there is one type who succeeds 90% of the time. That is the passionate type. That is the type who want to make a difference in the industry, who want to do something for their passion, who don't worry about the profit and losses, who just focuses on how to promote the creativity, how to bring innovation in their industry. That type, we will be talking about that type in particular today. In pandemic, there were a lot of home-based chefs. They gave competition to the restaurant industry because all the creativity went down and everyone became chefs in their home. So dining was suffered immensely. People were making uh, beautiful food, amazing food, tempting one in their homes, in their kitchens, and they didn't bother coming to restaurants because they were closed. So we will be talking about passion and ideas, creativity and solution towards pandemic and crisis. To open up a restaurant, you need a few things. Number one is passion. Number two is idea. Number three is hard work and number four is finances. So when you have an idea and when you're passionate about it, you will find finances and you will find one way or the other to do it. But to do that, you need to focus on your work. In a restaurant industry, there you will find a lot of negativity and hate as well. 
people will tell you you can't do it until you succeed people will demotivate you people won't have trust in you when i opened up my restaurant people thought i wouldn't succeed people didn't have trust in me but when you finally do it people will start envying you they they will start appreciating you and stuff like that so to open up a restaurant you need to have a brilliant idea you can't copy everyone else so if there is a restaurant out there and that is buzzing that is busy all the time mostly people think that they should open up a similar restaurant or find investor or make something similar the most important thing is when there is a restaurant already which is doing very well your restaurant chances are your restaurant won't do well because one thing is already there if you copy it and make it another it won't succeed so you will have to come up with a great idea and there are thousands of different cuisine out there there are thousands of different ideas out there pakistan is a great country with great potential there is still a lot of scope in pakistan food industry and in particular restaurant industry i came up with the idea because i was living in dubai dubai and europe and foreign is in particular at least 10 years ahead in terms of food and experiments so pakistan was lagging one thing everyone was eating the same food every day people didn't accept experiments people were not ready for that so i came up with the idea that i will introduce uh, some fusion in my food and make a change and make it viral because the times 10 years ago are completely different than the times right now i will play a video you will have the idea what i'm talking about so this is gulab jamun cheese cake so when i came to pakistan i wanted to experiment with it i wanted to do something new and fuse some desserts so i thought about an idea to fuse the most popular new york cheese cake with pakistani cake of desserts gulab jamun and i came up with gulab jamun cheese cake and there was one more dessert that's called uh uh baklava cheese cake and shahi tukda milk cake milk cake is also popular in eastern pakistan okay so this is the drink that we saw right now and it went by because i was not afraid of doing experiments i was not afraid of introducing new things i was not worried about people pulling my leg i was not afraid about people bashing me online so the easiest medium right now is social media as well people became brilliant chef and they posted their recipes and videos online and they went viral as well so it's not necessary that you open up a restaurant you can have a home based restaurant as well you can send out your creativity your food through your home as well so covid taught us a lesson and that lesson was dining experience is not important so one so, so when dining experience fails you are packaging experience and the and the creativity in packaging becomes most important so you have a lot of idea so there is turkish food out there there is pakistani food there is japanese food there is uh, british food there is uh, french food and pakistan is only focused focusing on pakistani food there is a lot of gap in how to present it how to make it look that thing the most important thing right now the trend is changing social media is the main source of your of bringing customer to your restaurant or promoting your food through social media so you eat with your with your eyes first the concept has changed now that's that's why people say proof is in the pudding so pudding is in front of you and proof is when you come and try the food the most important thing for a restaurant another important thing for a restaurant is the creativity because i'm just coming from my restaurant right now and they were about 30 40 girls and i was looking at them because i observed my customers so they came about 12 30 pm and till 1:30 pm they were taking pictures <laughs> they were taking selfies for one hour i think there was not even a one corner in my restaurant where they, where they did not take picture so you have to come up with really cool artwork and design in your restaurant so people so it's all about experience 
start, starting from entering the restaurant to eating the food. It's like watching a movie. So you don't have to lose interest for even one second. So you have to make the interior uh, attractive, Instagrammable, Facebook pictures, and you have to make your food interesting as well. People are not that much bothered about the taste of food right now. They are more interested in the aesthetics of the food. They are more interested in the visual appearance of the food. Then, obviously, the, the taste has to be there as well. Okay. So, pandemic, then there was Corona and pandemic. Nothing worked. All the theories, all the books, everything failed. Whatever was written in the book to uh, cut your losses, to work towards the crisis, mostly in books, you read about war crisis, you read about uh, terrorism crisis, you read about financial crisis and how to manage a business. Corona was a new one. No one knew about it. So everyone now is aware how to cut their losses and you have learned a new thing now. We almost cut our restaurant half. We had about 150 employees in our restaurant and we reduced them to about 80 now. The restaurant size is half but the profitability and the business is still the same. So you need to understand the, the business management of a restaurant as well. If it was only about building a restaurant and knowing how to cook some food, everyone in their home, like my mother, she is also a good chef. She would have opened up a restaurant. My chef is brilliant. He would have opened up a restaurant. So it's not only about restaurant. The ideas, I'm not a chef. The ideas I give my chef and my team, they can't even think about it. And why I give them the ideas? Because I'm passionate about food. They are working 9 to 5, I am working 24 7 in my restaurant. So the key ingredient for a restaurant is passion, idea and creativity. And I'm telling this to you all because I know through my Instagram DM that all the girls and boys out there, they want to do something in their life. And restaurant industry is very glamorous. So for you all, if you want to open up a restaurant, you need to watch this video again and again. Passion being the main source of success in the restaurant after Allah. And second thing, pandemic. There are crises, not only pandemic, but there are a lot of crises as well. Self-management crisis is one thing. Managing your staff is another thing. Food cost is one more thing. So if you talk about, if you ask me to talk about food, I can guarantee you I can talk 24 hours and you guys will be bored. But I want to keep it restricted to, to, to my time as well. And I want you guys to feel how easy and difficult it is to open up a restaurant. All you need to do is have passion, have the creativity, have the drive to open up the restaurant. I will keep it short because it's too hot and I'm sure you guys must be feeling it as well. So good luck and if you guys need anything just watch the video and best of luck.